Set up behind me is the Explore Planet Earth Bellbird glamping tent. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and how to pack it away too, so let's get started. Hit it. G'day folks, it's Ben from Snowy's here today at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park. Today I've got a glamping tent for you. This is the Explore Planet Earth Bellbird. It sleeps up to about eight people, gives a bit of a twist on your traditional camping tent. It's pretty simple to set up as well. I'm going to show you how to set it up and pack it away today. This is how it comes when you buy it. Now EPA claim it to weigh about 11.4 kilos. I've weighed this one at about 13, so a little bit higher than what they say and measures this back here about 80 centimeters in length and around about 25 to 30 centimeters in diameter. This is a demo one that one of our staff has used previously, so uh, I, it might have a few marks on it, but all the same concept. We'll start by showing you what comes in the bag. So you get in the bag your upright pole. This is your center pole. There's pole sections here that go over the top of the door. You get the main tent here, all this one. It's a single skin tent and you get a heap of pegs. Now, Given this has been used previously by a, by a scout group, there is a few extra pegs in here which could contribute to the extra weight that I've found it to weigh at the moment. Um, but anyway, total weight is somewhere between about 11.4 and about 13 kilos. Now first thing we need to do is put the poles and pegs aside, spread the inner out and peg all the corners in place. So I've just spun the tent around so the door's facing the way I want it. There's only one entrance which is this side here, you can see with the the zips and the mesh here. Now we just need to put the base pegs in. So this bit where the, the, the walls meet the floor. These upper ones here we don't put in just yet until we've got the frame in. There's eight of these around the base, eight loops. Put a peg through each of these and peg it all the way around. Now it's not a lie about how many pegs there were. The picture shows eight, but there's actually 12 pegs around the base. It's probably the only downside of this tent is the amount of pegs you've got to put in the ground. So that's all pegged in and secured to the ground now. Now I've got to grab the, the upright pole, which is the straight one, not the one with the bends in it. And I assemble this and we insert this inside the tent, up right up in the, the very peak. So this is going to be a central pole in the tent. Now I thought this was the same pole at either end, doesn't matter which way up it goes, but there is actually this little loop on here. Now I'm going to assume, I can't find anything anywhere about what it is. I'm going to assume it's to hang a lantern or something on. So I'm going to put that at the upper end of the pole. So if we just step inside the door here and just pull the fabric of the tent forward, find the find the peak, this bit here, and turn it inside out. And you can see it's quite reinforced on the inside here. Now this cup fits inside that peak there. Pull the fabric over the top and now we walk inside the tent pushing this up as we go. So that's the center pole in place. We can see the rubber cup here protects the floor. Now there's one other pole that we need to put in and that goes over the top of the door here. And there's actually three adjustment points on these poles for these uprights here. So we can just adjust the tension on the pole over the front of the tent. I'll leave it on the center pole, uh, center adjustment for the moment and see how tight it makes it. That goes over the top of the door here. There's a little eyelet up here and an A-frame shaped pole that sits in there and then comes back and slides into the pockets on the floor here to hold it in place. Okay so that's all the frames in place now we just got to put the last of the guy ropes in and we're all done. Before we do that we'll just grab this cap which fits over the top of the spigot here and gives a bit of water protection where the, um, the eyelet is or where the pole goes through the eyelet. Now we've got all these pegs, there's pegs across the top of the door and all the pegs around this skirt here around the side there'd be another i think 12 of them maybe even 13 of these now to put in that is the explore planet earth bellbird tent all set up uh, a lot of pegs 13 in that top level and like i said it was at 12 i think around the base so quite a lot of pegs to put in so it could be a bit of a headache if you've got a, a really hard ground and soft ground though super easy now you can roll these doors back if you like um, there's double doors you've got a mesh door and a solid door here so you can roll them up to make them open there's vents inside around the bottom to open up for ventilation but apart from that that's all the setup options you've got now pack up is probably easier than setup because you're not hammering the pegs in you're pulling them out so first thing to do is go around pull all these guy ropes out so i've got all the uh the pegs out from the guy ropes around this orange skirt i'm going to jump inside now and pull the poles out and just as you take this one out just be careful of this spike you don't want to let the fabric drag over the top of that and put a hole in your in the top of your tent so lay that one down make sure the spikes out of the way now we've got this or the the um, people who own this had the little cap on the outside attached to a string probably a good idea because that popped off then as i pulled the pole out might be something that you forget about otherwise so that's the front pole laid down we can now pull the center pole out so i'll lift this up and walk the base towards the door and lower the tent down and walk out the door with it. 
And so that's the poles and the guy ropes so now. We can now go around the edge. Uh, we'll throw the guy ropes in the middle of the tent so that they roll up inside. And we've got to go around and take all the pegs out from around the base here as well. Now the stage of folding it up. So to get an approximate size, I'm just going to lay the bag across the front of the door here so we can fold the sides in so it's about this width or just less than this width. And then we can roll it all up. That went back in the bag pretty easily. Just make sure you roll it up nice and tight and keep that width just a little bit less than the total length of the bag. But it's slid in there nice and comfortably. That is how you set up and pack away the Bellbird glamping tent from Explore Planet Earth. A little bit of fun for your next camping trip. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel, you'll get all of our latest and greatest information or check out some of our other videos like this one down here.